Hello. We are on day 13 of Living Well. Hopefully you are feeling healthier, uh, stronger, um, energized, that you feel like you're living well. Um, you're giving back to your body as much as you're asking from it. Um, so this week we have been focusing on rolling before we get started on our moves. Um, so grab your tennis ball. I'm going to use this kind of little double ball thing. So um, it came attached. It looks like, I don't know, an hourglass. Uh, but you can put two tennis balls or lacrosse balls. I think something a little softer is actually better. So tennis balls um, into like a tube sock or sock. And that will kind of give you the same idea. So we're going to use those. And then for your weights today, grab... Um, Grab like a mid, like a couple mid weights, if that makes sense. So I'm going to do a 10 and a 15. We're going to be working on a timer. And um, so it's going to be more muscular endurance today. And with that, um, I decided I wanted to go just a little bit on the light side. I'm not um, feeling like in that total crazy power push state um, that's going to come. But I really want to focus on my form, what's going on with my elbows, my wrists. So speaking of that, we're going to go into rolling our um, forearms and our hands. So start with your tennis ball. We're going to go to the hands and knees. And even when we're rolling, we're still thinking about what's going on with everything else. So uh, take up a hands and knees position, root into the ground, go ahead and hug your muscles into the bone, contract through that core gently and slide the shoulder blades down and then place your hand on the tennis ball and just roll in a small little circle around the palm. You can go counterclockwise, you can go clockwise, doesn't really matter. There are definitely some methods out there that take a very structured approach, what you do first and then next, when you roll, when you push, when you slide, all that stuff. Okay, so now then just go up and down. See if you can get all the way down your fingers. If you happen to have a desk job, <laughs> then this would be very, very beneficial. Um, I don't have a desk job, however, I do end up on my phone more than I would probably like, texting or whatever else. And uh, already um, need to be watching what goes on with that thumb. So speaking of which, go into that kind of thumb pad on the palm of your hand, roll around there. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and roll right on into your forearm. So roll down that forearm here and then back. If you would like, you can try this little double guy kind of just balances right inside that groove. I love how it feels. So the palm's facing, then go into where your thumb is pointing up. So everything going on in your forearm, that grip, your forearm, palm faces back to the ground, is going to be indicative of what's going on through the rest of that arm and up into the shoulder. Okay, now here's the funky part. Point your thumb down to the ground. Ooh, couple pops in my shoulder. See, that's crazy. All right, and then we're gonna uh, switch on to that other side. Okay, put your ball underneath the palm of your hand, rotate it around. Okay, so you know how this week we've been talking about um, our challenge for the week is building a healthy morning routine. Go around in that circle first. So this would be something that would be beneficial to add into your routine. So for me, I, um, have been actually I struggle to go water first I go straight for the coffee so I'm working on getting some water before I get my coffee um, and then I generally sit down and read for 20 to 30 minutes journal take notes think about my day if I want get all the way into your fingertips um, but adding in two to three minutes of some sort of mobility work here I am going to try to kind of start I know a lot of us don't have hours in the morning, nor do we want to get up earlier and earlier. Just building a routine. doesn't have to be a lot. Okay, um, stick with that tennis ball, or if you want, you can switch to the other, and we're going to go rolling up and down your forearm. Okay, so point, start with your palm facing the ground. Push, put some pressure into that little roller. Roll all the way out, and then bringing it back in, and then point your thumb to the ground. way out 
bring it in back to the palm facing and then the pinky will face and the thumb will come up roll it out and then bring it back in i'm going to go one more time palm facing the ground or i'm sorry thumb facing the ground roll roll roll, roll. That's the one I feel get all the way up into my shoulders. All right, and release there. So take your ball or your little roller, and we're actually just gonna rub the top, the arm. Supposedly helps hydrate those cells, wakes up some of those little nerve endings in there. So you can get bound up in the joints. So this kind of increases blood flow. Hit that other side. Again, this is the sort of thing, it's not going to do much if you just do it once. So trying to incorporate it here and there, taking just a few minutes before you start your workout. I know we all have limited amounts of time, but if we keep ourselves healthy so we can keep coming back, that is the ultimate goal. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five exercises we're going to be hitting up. And we're going to go uh, four rounds through on a timer. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Um, I'm going to run through it. Go ahead and stand with me and uh, move through all the ranges of motion without your weight so that you can gear up. So first is going to be an overhead press. If you don't do an overhead press, you're going to hit up your upright row. Elbows come wide. Hands come right to the chest. So at our 20 seconds, we're going to take little stretches, right? movements and rotations, motions through the arms and shoulders. Um, and then we're going to go curls, elbows squeeze in, just straight up, straight down. Next up, a side raise. This is for your shoulders. Probably something a little bit lighter for this one. Overhead triceps. Take your arms up overhead, squeezing the elbows in. Go up overhead. If this doesn't work for you, you hit up a tricep kickback, or you're welcome to do like a back top as well. That'll get into those triceps. And then lastly, we're going to do a headband. So you can grab a kettlebell if you want, something a little bit heavier. They're traditionally done that way. Hold your bell on either side. Um, and then you're going to just rotate up and over. So all the way like you're drawing a little headband up and over your head. So the reason that um, it's kind of traditionally done with a kettlebell is so that you can grab around the, the ball right, with the horn facing up, and then you get that range here. So it's a lot of core, and it's a lot of upper back. Um, if you don't do that going overhead, I'm going to have you have available a little band, okay, and you're going to put pressure, tension on your band straight out, and then I just want you to tuck your elbows in and then push the arms straight out. Tuck in and push out. Okay, so we have 20 minutes of work. Yes. 20 minutes of straight up work combined with our little uh, break. So we're going to start with the overhead press. Ready, set, and go. Okay, so the reason I'm going a little bit lighter today, I think I mentioned, but it's endurance, right? Muscular endurance. I want to just be able to keep moving within that entire 40 seconds. Think about your stance here. Strong, strong core. Stacking the hips right over the feet, shoulders right over the hips, pushing those arms up using the back, shoulders, but your core is fully supported. Or you're hitting your upright row here. All right, set those down. Okay, we're going to take our thumbs up and open the arms up, and then the thumbs point back behind you. Bring it in front, like a little seal pose, open behind. We're going to hit our curls next. One more of these. Okay, pick up your weights for curls. Shoulders back and down, elbows tight in. So you want to make sure you're not compensating at all. Chest falling forward, shoulders rounding. Let's see, squeezing between those shoulder blades. Flexing a little bit through those glutes. Keep your wrists nice and strong. 
Keep that tailbone a little bit tucked. That'll help keep your pelvis in neutral. Chest is tall. Think about that downward phase. Build more muscle on the down. All right, taking our stretch, I want you to take uh, one arm back. So you're gonna take your left arm back behind, bring it around in front, behind, and now hit that other side. Behind, swing it in front, behind a little pulse. Next, we're gonna have our side raise. Okay, so grab your lighter weights. <clears throat> Shoulders back and down, create a 90 degree angle in your elbow. Open the elbows wide. Again, thinking about that downward face. So your elbows are what's doing kind of the movement. The hands come out with the elbow, but you're not bending or opening your elbow any more than where it started at from the beginning. Gently flex your butt. You've got to use those shoulders. Keep your pinch between the shoulder blades. Okay, to stretch, take one arm over, reach through that side, other side. We're gonna go overhead triceps next. So you can grab one or both of your weights. Bring it up overhead. I like a split stance, generally speaking. Squeeze your elbows in. Tuck in that tailbone. I recognized from doing these videos, as still as I think my body is when I'm here, still some sway forward and back. So I've been really working on watching that. Really trying to root through my legs, grab through the core, flex through the tushy, squeeze your elbows in next to your face, use the triceps. Okay, going back into that stretch, grab your right arm, pull it to the left, and then reach your left ear to left shoulder, and then the other side, pull from behind. Okay, last one here for the set, we're gonna do our headbands. So whether you're grabbing around that bell, or if you are going into your dumbbell, up and over. So keep the core strong, or you're on your mini band, So working from the shoulder, the back, and the core. Getting into those structural muscles on the back, through the core, the shoulders, even the chest. Watch that the hips don't start pushing forward. All right. We're gonna grab our hands behind the back, hinge forward. Okay, we made it through our first round, going back to our overhead press from the top. All right, here we go. Grab your weights, straight into it. Gold post arms and press up overhead. Going for that muscle fatigue here. Should be tougher this round. Keep mindful of your low back, keeping that strong core, making sure the hips don't push forward. You got it. And time. Okay, thumbs are up, and then open the arms behind. Bring it back in front. Round that back a little as you come to the front. Open behind. Next up, we have curls. Whew. Glad I chose to go mid-weight. 40 seconds adds up fast. Elbows stay right at the side. So when your hands come up, watch your elbows. They should not be coming forward, which is the tendency, right? Try your best, keep right under. 
that shoulder. I have a little mirror on the side. Make sure it looks good. Perfect form is better tone. Nicely done. Okay, we're gonna stretch that out. Take your left arm, open behind. Twice here, we'll kind of take a little swing. Get through that peck and shoulder. Other side, rotate and open. We have our side raises next. Shoulders back and down, elbows at 90 degrees. Lift nice and tall. Think about lifting the chest as high as you can up off your rib cage. Create space between your shoulders and ears. You need that support of the back to help get those elbows up as well. Okay, next up, let's see, going over to this side. Oh. And the other side. Bring it up and over. Okay, next up we have our overhead tricep extensions, split stance, four set. Totally up to you. Get your elbows pretty high. Go for range, right? Get your hands all the way up at the top. Hug that belly button back towards your spinal column. Check in with the neck. Where's your neck? Should not be holding any tension. Hopefully that upper body seems super still. Okay. Grab your right arm, pull it across, hug, left ear, left shoulder, other side, pull across, right ear, right shoulder. Next up, we're gonna have our headbands. I'm gonna go a little lighter. Oh. Slide into those shoulders and back, up and over. Starts with that stance. You want to be stacked up. Block in that core. Tug in those glutes. Chest is tall. Create that little headband right over the top. Can you get your belly button back toward your spine anymore? All right. Grab those hands behind. Push your knuckles away from you. Open that chest. Hinge forward if you'd like. Oh, nice work, you guys. Two down, two to go. We're going with that overhead press first. Three, two, and one. Holy cow. Focus on your stance. Keep strong through the core. I gotta watch as I get up overhead that my hips don't thrust forward. Holy goodness. Roll it out. Take a second between if you need. Press up again. And done. Goodness. All right, um, open your arms. Forgot what we're doing. Thumbs behind, come forward into that little steel round. Come up. Next up, we have our curls. Shoulders back and down. Keep it going. Bring those hands up together. Tug that tailbone under. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Chest is tall. Neck stays relaxed. Wrists are strong. Sometimes our tendency is to move the wrists around. 
to make our brain believe that we're getting the move fully done. Keep those wrists strong, neutral. All right, set it down. We'll go into that left arm, swing it back, up and through the chest, down, and back, other side. Down, back. Slide that shoulder down and open. All right, your side raise. 90 degree angle. Get as far as you can. Stop, roll the shoulders out if you need. Come back. Not worth it if you're grabbing in the neck. Not worth it. Neck is grabbed enough throughout the day. Don't need to add it in when we're doing our workouts either. Good job. Bring that chest up. Contract through the abdomen. Done. <clears throat> Grab your arm behind. Pull it to the side. And reach that ear over. Then the other wrist pull, reach over, overhead tricep extensions are next. Here we go. Whether you want a split stance or a set stance, squeeze those elbows in. The elbows want to rotate kind of externally as you lift up. Try your best to keep them pulled in. Find that stack, relax in the neck. Let's go with those triceps, you got it. Six seconds. All right, get a side lean, take one arm over, oh. stretch all the way through. Then the other side, we have our headbands next. Grab your dumbbell or your kettlebell. Here we go. Find that stance. Bend into the knees. Work from the core, the foundation, those strong legs. And then the back muscles. Finding those serratus muscles under your armpit that help engage to support. They must engage to support. Oh. Got it, we got it, core strong. We're almost through our third round. Okay, grabbing those hands behind. Push them off those hips. This feels so good through those elbows too. If you've been with me long, you know I gotta watch my elbows. I've seen sometimes um, doing those rubs have helped a lot. Okay, up overhead. <clears throat> Here we go. Fourth and final round. So once we get through this one, we get to check it off for today. Be in charge of that core. Keep it going. This is good. Burning it out, getting lots of reps. Woo! <laughs> Barely made it. Okay, thumbs are up and then open out behind. Thumbs are back, palms open. Get range through those shoulders and chest. Last one, we're gonna go curls. I'm not using those 15s very much today. Tailbone tucks under. Remember we want our elbows to stay right under the shoulders. That's it. Lift the chest, make sure it's not falling as the arms drop. 
Doing great. Building that muscle. You're strengthening the bone. You're building your metabolism throughout the day. All right. Bring your left arm back behind. Thumb is up. It kind of rotates back. Swing it down. Pull it back. Other side. Swing it down. Pull it back. Down and back. Whew. Side raise. Elbows at 90 degrees. Here we go. Lift. Be in charge on that lower. Don't rush it. Hold the belly strong. Tuck that tailbone under a little. Form is important. Try not to contort the body to get the range. Use the shoulders and the upper back. Nothing else. No momentum. No neck. Beautiful. All right, grab that arm behind. Pull it across. Like that ear to shoulder. Other side. Next up we have overhead triceps. Here we go. Elbows squeeze in. Noodle arms, that's okay. That's what we came for. Neck relaxed. Keep that stance even, right? So I had my back foot back just a little too far. Want to keep your weight evenly distributed front and back so you're not leaning too far forward or too far back. Take your brain to the triceps. That's what we're wanting to get here. Triceps. Upper back side of the arm. Okay. Reach over and across. And the other side. Okay. We have our headbands and then our stretch. Get your stance set. Contract through the glutes. Root through those legs. Knees are soft. Hopefully your knees have been soft this whole time. Make sure you're not locking out the knees. Challenge yourself. Push that range. Keeping the core strong. Remember, we're not contorting to get it done. Form first. Not reps. Not weight. Woo. All right. Grab those hands behind. Push them off. Stretch it forward. Oh. Well done. Okay. Let's take a quick child's pose. Hinge those hips back over the heels. Turn off. Okay, uh, let's keep our knees together. Hinge those hips back. Reach your arms way out in front of you. See if you can get your forehead on the ground. Slide those shoulder blades down and really push the chest toward the ground. Then put your hands together. Bend your elbows and bring your thumbs to the base of the neck. Once you're there, See if you can kind of walk your elbows away from the knees just a little more and then push into the elbows, reaching them out in front of you. You feel those tricep stretch. Nice work. Very well done. Okay, plant onto your hands. Turn your fingertips around. So the fingertips are facing your knees. And then we're going to slowly hinge back, stretching through those forearms. Easy does it. Your palms will lift up off the ground. That's fine. What's going on in that upper back and your neck? Make sure you stay loose there. Good job. And then uh, bringing your fingertips to where they almost touch your knees so that you're on the tops of your hands, the backs of your hands, and the palms are facing up. 
and then slowly sit back. Bring your fingertips closer to the knees just so there's not as much pressure there. Nice work. Okay, rotate those around. And then we're gonna go into a twist. So plant on your right hand, grab through that core, inhale, bring your left arm super high, and then you're gonna exhale and tuck it under. So we're gonna go into thread the needle, see if you can get your butt up in the air, push the outer edge of that shoulder on the ground, still keep your core flexed to protect whatever's going on in that low back. And then just kind of lean it over to the side so you get that outer edge of the shoulder stretching on that left side. Okay, push into your right hand. Same thing on the other side. Inhale, bring your right arm up. And then exhale, tuck it under. Keep your butt up in the air. See if you can lie on the outer edge of that right arm, pushing into the left hand to kind of help facilitate that twist and stretch. All right, and then we're gonna take one other stretch. Have a wall or something nearby, hopefully. I'm gonna stay on my knees. So you're gonna get your right shoulder pushed onto the wall, and then you kind of get your hips as close as you can while angling your feet or knees away from the wall just a teeny bit. Angle your hand on the wall straight out from your shoulder. The higher your hand, then the more pressure you'll have. So lift through the chest. This might be enough stretch. Otherwise, open your palm so the thumb is out, pinky on the wall, and your palm facing up. Okay, put your hand back toward the wall, and then just slowly walk your hand up the wall, keeping your chest. Ooh, I'm gonna sit here a second, feel a little deeper stretch. Keep your chest lifted and your shoulder as close to the wall as you can. Bring it all the way up, straighten high overhead, slide that shoulder blade down, and then we'll go to the other side. Okay, left shoulder on the wall. Leaning into it. See if you can get that hand straight out from your shoulder. And then if you can, rotate so that the thumb is pointing away from the wall, pinky on the wall. Lift that chest. Keep mindful of that low back pelvis connection. Make sure you're not losing and getting an anterior tilt. Okay, and then flatten your palm on the wall. Slowly walk it up. Wherever you feel kind of a bigger stretch, hang out there a second. Rotates in through the pec for me. Keep walking it up. Stay as long as you want in each little position. Hold when it's up overhead. Bring it down. Whew. All right, good job. Lucky day 13. We made it through, and I will see you for 14.